After the release of Cobra Kai Season 5, some fans are finding clues that Terry Silver could be dying. Could this be true? Today we'll look at the theory, we'll go over why it's totally wrong, and why I think Terry Silver will live way longer than anyone can imagine. Hi, I'm Ken Cole, and if you're a fan of Cobra Kai and Terry Silver, you're in the right place. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything going forward. Now there's a theory going around that Terry Silver may be dying. I saw some of you comment about this on my videos and Twitter replies. There are great videos about this by Cobra Kai Theory and Strike First Media, which I recommend checking out. And we've received this question on our KenCast live stream. So today I want to directly answer this question and tell you why Terry Silver is absolutely not dying and why the opposite is true. Before I begin, I'll admit I'm a Terry Silver fan and I've supported his position over the years. People have accused me of working for the Big T, and if you're curious about that, be sure to watch Cobra Cole to get your answers. The bottom line is, it's important to realize that while fans have done a good job of putting these clues together, there is such a thing as anti-Terry Silver propaganda. Daniel himself was attempting an anti-Terry messaging campaign to defame him. If people know this contract existed, Silver's reputation would be destroyed. They'd never let Cobra Kai compete again. So just be aware that forces are at work to try and take down Terry. Okay, so let's directly address the points of this Terry is dying theory. The theory goes that Terry Silver is sick and dying. And the first clue is in season four when Terry has his traumatic flashback at breakfast. Terry has his pills there and he says, Sorry, I think I'm gonna skip breakfast today. And the servant says, Should I call the doctor? No. According to the theory, this is because Terry is sick and dying. Next, we see Terry in his bathroom and he's taking the pills for what? We don't know. But according to the theory, it's because you guessed it, he's sick and dying. Then in season five, Terry tells Chosen that he's really focused on his legacy. I never had any children. My only legacy is Cobra Kai which is supposed to mean he's dying, I guess. The big scene that has people abuzz is at the beginning of season five, episode nine, when Johnny and Carmen are in the hospital elevator. Then Terry shows up and talks about how important the next generation is. Everything I do is for the future, theirs and mine. So according to the theory, Terry's at the hospital because, yep, he's dying. Then in the finale, when Chosen has Terry beaten, he's apparently not afraid to die and tells Chosen to do it. And according to the theory, he's not afraid to die because he's been dying for a long time already. So look, obviously not everyone likes Terry Silver and a chunk of people would be happy for him to die, but I feel like I have to stick up for the guy. First, let's just do a reality check. Terry Silver is about John Kreese's age, which would be somewhere around 70 years old. I think we can all agree that Terry appears to be in fantastic shape for someone that age. Look at his energy level and his lethal fighting skills and tell me another 70 year old you know who could do anything close to what Terry does in Cobra Kai season five. And on top of that, Terry is a billionaire. Of course, I believe the Terry is dying theory is wrong. I actually believe the opposite and I will tell you the truth in a few minutes and it will blow your mind. But first, let's take a look at each of these points and knock them down. The first is the breakfast scene. Terry has pills at the table, but we have no clue what they're for. They could be for blood pressure, for knee pain, they could be antibiotics, and a lot of medications need to be taken with food. How many people do you know that are taking pills for a non-terminal illness? A lot, I bet. Even you maybe. And there's no reason to think that Terry taking pills would mean that he's dying. Then when Terry says, Sorry, I think I'm gonna skip breakfast today. The servant says, Should I call the doctor? No. Let me point out that when season four came out, no one ever brought up the scene as evidence that Terry was terminally ill. And there's a good reason why. Rich people, billionaires, have servants that bend over backwards to take care of any little problem. We expect them to go overboard. Look at Milos and Margaret in Karate Kid 3, how they even anticipated Terry's needs. Yes, sir? Where are the magazines I ordered? Right here, sir. Terry has a level of wealth that makes him like royalty. So if Terry had only coughed, the servant would have said the exact same thing. In fact, let's see how that would look. Mr. Silver? <coughs> Should I call the doctor? No. <laughs> see, Terry isn't dying. Servants just go overboard. They're very cautious for their very rich bosses. And what about all the talk of legacy? My only legacy is Cobra Kai. 
It's normal for people of all ages to think about the legacy they'll leave behind. And the right time to start building a legacy is well before you die. If you're already sick and dying, it might be too late to conquer the world. Also remember, every time Terry talks about his legacy, My only legacy is Cobra Kai. What I'm offering you is legacy. He's trying to persuade someone of something. So you have to take that with a grain of salt. And what about this famous elevator scene with Johnny and Carmen? Why is Terry in the hospital? Is he dying? Well, I hate to break it to the Terry haters, but there are so many other reasons why someone could be in the hospital. He could be visiting a doctor friend for lunch or visiting a patient. Maybe something happened to Cheyenne. Also, Stingray was in the hospital and maybe Terry's uh, thanking the staff who took care of him. And remember that Terry is a billionaire philanthropist. Hospitals are a very popular recipient of charitable funds. So he could have been meeting with the hospital foundation about a major gift. The bottom line is that there are so many reasons for a rich guy to go to the hospital that do not involve dying. Also, Terry very clearly says that everything I do is for the future, theirs and mine. If he was dying, he wouldn't be trying to do stuff for his future. So what about the end when Chosen has him pinned and Terry is not afraid to die? Is it because he's terminally ill? <laughs> no. Listen to what Terry actually says. I was meant to die on the bell. It's clear that Terry hasn't been afraid to die since Vietnam. We saw that he was afraid in the POW camps, but obviously his war experience and training with Kim Sun Young changed his perspective. Death no longer scares Terry and hasn't for many decades. And I'd just like to point out that no terminally ill 70-year-old could beat Chosen in combat like Terry does, drunk or not. But now I'm going to share with you for the first time the truth about Terry Silver. You might want to sit down for this. I simply invite you to look at the evidence. Terry is a billionaire. He's taking mysterious pills. He's making hospital visits. He's extraordinarily fit and dangerous at 70 plus years old. Everything points to the fact that Terry Silver is participating in a cutting edge medical treatment to extend human life. That's right. Terry is going to live for another 70 years minimum. It all makes sense. Even as we speak, scientists around the world are researching gene therapy and organ regeneration to extend human life by hundreds, if not thousands of years. The first people who'd have access to these treatments would be the super wealthy like Terry Silver. With this in mind, let's see how everything fits together. First, at breakfast, Terry has a bottle of pills, but these are actually part of his life-extending treatment regimen. His servant gets concerned that Terry's not hungry and wants to call the doctor. Should I call the doctor? No. But the servant doesn't mean any old doctor. He means the lead researcher of his life extension therapy program. The servant knows that if this experimental treatment works, Terry could live for decades or centuries, meaning job security for him and his family for generations. So the servant's being extra cautious to make sure this life extension treatment is a success. How about when Terry takes those pills in the bathroom? Within minutes, Terry's mood changes. He smiles at himself and even appears to grow younger. That life extending treatment is working and Terry's got a lot of living to do. Whoa! All of Terry's legacy talk legacy, legacy, is simply because he has many decades of life ahead of him. So he has time to start building his legacy today. And what about Terry showing up in the hospital? Radical life extension therapy would explain why Terry's in the hospital. To consult with lead researchers, to receive his treatment checkup, and secure funding for the procedure and the hospital. In the elevator, he says, Everything I do is for the future. Theirs and mine. It's pretty clear he sees a long future ahead. Terry obviously displays uncommon energy and physical prowess for someone who's 70 plus years old, probably due to advanced gene therapy. And Terry tells Chosen Do it. because he knows that this experimental medical treatment causes rapid cell and organ regeneration and he likely wouldn't die even if Chosen struck. Terry's classic quote, Youth, the one thing money can't buy, shows us he's already tried to buy youth but instead he's buying the next best thing, a long life. After all. Say it, Cobra Kai. Never dies. Bet your ass. So there you have it. Terry Silver is not dying. Instead, he's reaching for immortality, which makes his recent incarceration even more tragic. This is why I'm starting a movement to save Silver. If enough of us band together, we can see that true justice is done and Terry Silver is released from prison as soon as possible. After all, he still needs to establish his legacy. Be sure to use hashtag SaveSilver on social media to show your support for our immortal Cobra Kai Sensei. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, 
Go ahead and hit like and subscribe so we can reach our goal of 25,000 subscribers. And if you're a fan of Terry Silver and Cobra Kai, the next thing you should watch is Cobra Cole right here. See you next time.